name's Sam and I work as a facilitator at Science World. Today I'm going to show you one of my favorite demonstrations about air and something that you can make at home. One of the things I think is really wonderful about air is that even though we can't directly see it with our eyes, we can see the way that air influences other things. So here I have my homemade air cannon and a bunch of puff balls on the table. I'm going to use my air cannon and we can see that the rings of air that are coming out of here are having an influence on the puff balls and pushing them forwards. And you can make your very own air cannon like this at home. All you need are a couple of very simple objects. Here we have a cup. What I'm going to do is use my scissors to cut out the bottom of the cup. We have a balloon. We're going to blow it up to stretch it out. Let the air out. We're going to cut the top off the balloon, leaving the neck. Tie a knot in the bottom of the balloon as if you had inflated it and you want to keep the air inside. Just like that, we're going to take the balloon and stretch it over top of the cup with the hole in it. So it fits very nicely on there. And a little bit of tape to make sure it's sealed, secure, and airtight. Put this all the way around the cup, just like this. Now, we need to cover the opening on the front of our cup. I'm going to make a hole, and it's very important that the hole you make for the front of the cup is less than half the size of the diameter of this opening. So for me, they're going to make a hole that's about two centimeters across. And I have something to trace it with right here. I'm going to cut that hole out of the card. And we're going to use our rubber band to secure it onto the front of the cup. That's all it takes, and you have your very own air cannon. But here at Science World, we've got some bigger ones that we like to use. Right here, I have a larger version of our air cannon. It works exactly the same way as the ones that you can make at home. Now, it would be very cool if we were somehow able to see what the air looks like as it's coming out from the cannon. Fortunately for us, we have a fog machine right here. As you can see, we've got very interesting rings coming out of the air cannon. We call this a toroidal vortex being formed every time we send the puffs of air from the air cannon out into the air in the room. Here at Science World, we like to make things even bigger. So check this one out right here. Ah, oh, yes! This is an air cannon that we have made from a recycle bin. This is gonna be good. We actually have an even bigger air cannon right here in our Eureka Gallery. Come and check this out and so much more at Science World. <laughs>